Hydro dipping a 30 ounce modern curve maker flow tumbler today. I prepped my cup by painting it black and then I glittered it with a chunky mix from Mr. Nola's glitter called Black Magic. And then I epoxied it probably two or three times until I got a smooth finish on it. In this bucket, I'm dropping in my Marabou Easy Marble paint, my rose pink, my lavender, my aqua green, and my reseda. And I'm putting in also some crystal clear drops because I don't want to cover up all of my glitter with uh, the paint. I want to be able to have parts of the, the marble that are clear so that you can see the beautiful glitter that is on the cup. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take a chopstick and I'm gonna kind of like make the paints flow together but not too much because then it all sticks to the chopstick. And then I'm gonna dip the cup. And I just take a moment to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, hit the like button, please. Here we go, we're dipping. The cup is a little harder to push down than you would think it would be because of the resistance from the water. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, let's do that dip again. Let's show you that dip again. It just happened so quick. I want you to see it again. Ta-da! I let the tumbler dry overnight to make sure it was absolutely dry. And then I put a couple coats of epoxy on it, but it just needed a little bit more pop. So these 54 glitter jars, I took some matching colors of lavender and green, and I made some little streaks on it. Where there was like a ribbon of green, I put some green on there. You mix the fine glitter in with a little bit of epoxy and just kind of dragged it across with a popsicle stick. And then I did the same with the pink and I did the same with the lavender. And that just really made this cup like wow for me. That was the effect I was looking for. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless you guys.